Now in the past, I've examined what I thought the message from Dave Filoni was when it comes to the very ending of The Clone Wars. But today, I specifically wanted to examine what Dave Filoni mentioned about the clones and how their tragic lives are used in the story to send us another underlying message about our heroes, Rex and Ahsoka. Dave Filoni spoke with the Nerdist.com and was asked by Amy Radcliffe the following. I want to go back to the clones for a moment. I really want to go back to that last scene because it paid homage to them. They existed and died because of Palpatine. It felt tragic, and this last moment kind of emphasized the pointless nature of the war. So why was it important to you to show the kind of tragedy of their existence at the end? And Dave Filoni responded by saying, For me, the scene is actually one about, it is a tragedy, but you have two characters showing a tremendous amount of respect to them. And I had a very different situation to deal with than Revenge of the Sith because I had a general of kids that grew up watching the clones as heroes that love Rex, Cody, Gree, Fives, Echo, Tech, you go on down the list. They have a relationship with those characters as their friends and heroes. The idea that Ahsoka could be very blunt about things and say, well now they're trying to kill me so I should cut them down, doesn't really work for me. I thought it wouldn't work for her. It's about not compromising her value of who she is. End quote. And I absolutely love this moment for Ahsoka because it is a moment that she shows us that again that she is a true Jedi. In a situation in which you're massively outnumbered and your former friends are hunting you down like robots, it would be incredibly difficult to come to the decision that Ahsoka does. But despite that, she would rather die than kill her friends. This selfless act is truly the way of the Jedi. And Filoni continues to answer the question by stating, And I had to tell the personal story of these clothes. It was one of the editors who brought up that Rex and Jesse know each other really well. They've been in this series the whole time, and that's why we've added the line where Rex makes a personal plea and says, Look, we've known each other for a long time. If we do this, we'll be the ones that are traitors, not her. And so you have to get all these points of view across, and people still do what they do. But the idea is that Ahsoka and Rex, to a degree, can be selfless. End quote. And for me, it's so important that our heroes are selfless because it does such a good job of complementing what happens in Revenge of the Sith. Anakin is selfless and falls to the dark side because of it. But here, at the end of the Clone Wars, we see that contrasted with the actions of Ahsoka and Rex, who again would rather die than kill their former friends. Mr. Filoni goes on suggesting, there are very complex issues at the end because it's a tragic situation and the heroes do largely lose. But the one thing that they can't lose is their integrity and their morality and who they both were. That needs to survive and stay intact because then there is actually a possible future. If they've compromised themselves and proved to be no better better than they've really lost. It's tough stuff, but it's all these things that we were taught in the show and George believed to be important. And Filoni does such an amazing job sharing with us the importance of this final episode of The Clone Wars, that despite the Empire rising and Rex and Ahsoka being defeated, there is still this moral victory, that Ahsoka and Rex didn't compromise their values, so despite the sad ending, it still gives us hope for the future, which to me is the perfect tragic ending. And this is why I love Star Wars. I believe through these underlying messages that it encourages us to be better people. That when everything seems to be going wrong and we are on the losing side, we can stay true to our values and do the right thing. It's certainly not always easy to do, but that's why Ahsoka, Qui-Gon Jinn, Luke Skywalker, these true Jedi, they're more than just your average hero. At least that's how I see it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, I'm Mike. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.